located on the east coast of North America, and the last to join Confederation, Newfoundland and Labrador has had many misfortunes come their way throughout history. Unfortunately, most of the world has little to no knowledge of Newfoundland and Labrador. A province rich in history and lore and also a magnificent strategic location for a military. Newfoundland, before the joining of Labrador, joined Canada in 1949 under the leadership of Joey Smallwood. Some locals would argue this was a terrible decision and others would say it was the best thing that ever happened to Newfoundland. Argentia holds much history and significance. Had it not been for this strategic location during World War II, some say the Germans would have won the war and taken over the world. Argentia was a proper strategic location for a military base due to its deep anchorage, ice-free harbor, flat available land for an airfield, access to an existing railway line and a location which was close to valued North Atlantic shipping routes. Fort McAndrew became the most expensive overseas American base built during the period. At its peak, 20,000 American servicemen were stationed in Argentia. At the time of the takeover by the Americans, some locals were intrigued by the idea of new employment income generating into Newfoundland. But some of the older folks felt differently as Argentia was all they ever knew and their families and ancestors built their houses there. Their ancestors were also buried in the community. Seeing that the Germans were invading, it was an unfortunate circumstance that there was no other choice but to resettle the 400-plus residents to clear way for the naval base. It was an aggravating thought to those who had to start over again from scratch and develop their lives again. There were stories of wives clinging to the floorboards in tears as they were ripped away from their safe space. The development of the base eventually cost $52 million a huge amount of money in those days. The Amerikans were said by some to be generous and understanding people, and sympathized with the residents who had been forced to leave their community and homes. At the time, there was no elected voice to represent the people of Argentia. A resettlement committee was formed and they negotiated the terms of resettlement. The town of Freshwater was later chosen, but things were moving very slow even though they had already left their homes behind. The price of building material was extremely high along with salary for carpenters due to the war. A request was made by the resettlement committee to have the duty fees on building materials lifted, and also that the Newfoundland government pay for the Newfoundland railway freight charges, but they were refused on both. Compensation was provided, but was very little. On February 13, 1941 the American flag was raised in Argentia and the people felt like foreigners in their own community. The American culture started to seep into the Newfoundland people, they were introduced to television, bridal and baby showers and trick or treating for Halloween which was unheard of before the Americans entered their lives. New foods were also introduced by the Americans including pizza, hamburgers, hot dogs, chili and sandwiches. I hope you enjoyed this video. There is more to this story which I will be back to talk about very soon so please subscribe, like this video, comment below and stay tuned for my next video. Thank you for watching.